while athletes from around the globe, including some from right here in Montana, will soon converge on Paris, France, in Paris, France, for the Olympic and Paralympic Summer Games. The events are varied, as could be the weather conditions. Meteorologist Mitchell Coombs breaks down what the athletes may face this summer using 3D technology. The eyes of the sporting world will be on Paris, France as the 2024 Olympic and Paralympic Summer Games get underway. Thousands of athletes from more than 200 countries will converge on France's capital city to put years of hard work on display and go for gold. One other competitor that did not receive an Olympic qualifying berth for any particular event or country will still be an impactful participant in this year's Summer Games, Mother Nature. Athletes in Paris will have to face a wide range of weather conditions from heat and humidity to heavy rainfall and strong winds. When heat and humidity combine at the extreme end of the spectrum, they can create conditions where the human body's ability to self-regulate temperature through sweating is no longer enough to overcome the outside conditions. It is at this point where heat cramps, heat exhaustion, and heat stroke become a real concern. Participants of field hockey, rugby sevens, and long distance track events will be the most susceptible to these conditions. While a bit of rain can offer some welcome cooling, it could also cause athletes to use more energy and struggle with visibility and grip. When it comes to precipitation, Paris averages around two to three inches of rainfall in the months of July and August. Beach volleyball and soccer can see the greatest impacts from rain, while events such as tennis and skateboarding may be delayed. Like rain, wind can provide welcome cooling, but it also can produce havoc for some events. This is especially true of archery and outdoor shooting events where the projectile and or target's trajectory may change slightly. In these events, victory and defeat can be determined by the smallest of margins. One particular set of events is literally driven by the wind, sailing. The direction and speed of the wind will help competitors select the fastest path through the course. Then we have track and field events in which all competitions will be impacted by the wind in some way. A tailwind can enhance an athlete's speed and distance in certain events, while the opposite is true in a headwind. In general, all competitors will be facing similar type of winds during their competitions. However, the speed of the wind could impact the legality of an event or world record result. The International Association of Athletics Federations recognizes the effects of tailwind and has set strict criteria. A time run in a tailwind greater than two meters per second cannot count for record purposes. These winds may seem quite minuscule, but in races determined by fractions of a second, this can lead to a vast difference. Two meters per second can lead to a change of 0.1 seconds. While the competitions pit teams and individuals against one another, they all will be adjusting to the great equalizer, the weather. During these summer games, let's cheer our local athletes to Olympic gold and bask in the Olympic spirit. To find out what the weather will be like for your next local sporting event, visit our website, nbcmontana.com weather. Running and reporting in Missoula, Mitchell Coombs, NBC Montana. Watch the Summer Olympics from Paris right here on NBC Montana. The opening ceremony is July 26th, and competitions run through August 11th. You can always find some more details on our homepage at NBCMontana.com.